Hey you family welcome back to my channel yet another video and this time we're going to talk about medicine in Latvia one of a Baltic country and specifically we're going to talk about the university Riga Stratens University uh, we're going to specifically uh, give a brief analysis about what the uh, university is actually offering what kind of curriculum they have what kind of exchange programs they have how it is accredited uh, and uh, who can choose these kind of universities whether it is related with uh, like uh, few, uh, about the future options, we can talk about USMLE, UKMLE and the FSP exams for Germany. So we'll discuss everything in this video briefly. So just sit and I hope after watching this video, you will have a clear picture about medicine and Latria. So let's start. talk about the university itself it's in Latvia it was established in the year 1950 with over 10 faculties and uh, it's more specifically giving emphasis on medicine and dentistry so the medical program it has six years and the dentistry program it is five years so both the programs the fees ranges from 12,000 euros to up to 15,000 euros so the credit system they follow is the Latvian credit point system it is 24 credit scores for uh, the six year program for medicine it's equivalent to the ECTS system that is the European credit transfer system it is equivalent to 360 credit scores so it's not going to be a problem if you study from there. This credit score is valid in the entire Europe because they all fo uh, follow the same credit transfer system. Uh, the number of faculties and the accreditations, I'll just put it on the screen. I don't need to explain it a lot. It's just a basic term that they use by the different organization who are giving the degree, the importance, the accreditations, everything. It's on the screen. You can just see and you can research it on your own and internet or anywhere. 
So let's talk about the study program of this university. So they are more emphasizing towards a practical approach of medicine instead of just theoretical. From the third year onwards, you're gonna have hands-on clinical experience, you're gonna have interaction with patients, you're gonna talk about uh, the various cases over there. You can uh, have all the practice in their own renowned hospitals, their own personal hospitals of that university. They're gonna uh, have enrollment and placements in the clinical patient care, internal medicine and surgery, etc. And apart from that, they are fully tech driven models. They use, they use stimulation. Uh, they have various advanced technology for medicine that is present up to date uh, in this world. Another great thing to know about this university, it holds more than 40% of international students with over 65 nations, whether I talk about Germany, Sweden, Norway, or Finland or Great Britain, if these students from these developed countries, if they are choosing this university, you can already understand how reputed the university is, how, uh, the curriculum, because uh, anyhow, you already know if someone is completing a uh, course from here, they want to go back to the country, they should have, a, they, they need to choose a university that has a curriculum quite similar to the place they will go back to, like the, to their own nations. So they are all following the same thing. And because of the accreditations, they are uh, fully valid to have, you know, USMLE, uh, you will be able to uh, appear for USMLE exam, the UKMLA exam, and the exams, the screening exams for Germany, you have the FSP also. So uh, this makes the university more uh, valid. And another thing, even after that, like if you're interested to settle in Latvia itself, they're also uh, giving you, the, after the, your MD program, they're also giving you the opportunity to enroll for the doctoral degree. They have various courses over there, various specialization courses over there. You can uh, study there and settle there itself. So it's one of the great options because many students, they want to go to a place specifically from India, Pakistan or Bangladesh, these countries, they're searching for institutions that give a settlement option in that country itself. So it's a great thing because not many uh, countries do that. Only certain reputed universities and countries are doing it. So it's a great opportunity. So it's, this was a brief explanation about the program and Riga and I hope I covered the basic topics and uh, the deadlines that works in different phases so you need to act fast because it has already started since june so you can connect with us our administrative team and the our team of counselors they're ready to help you out and give you all the answers for your questions and to my viewers if you need any more details for any other colleges you know what to do you can either directly connect with me or you can put some queries in the comment section i'm trying my best to take out some time and uh, properly give you a brief analysis and, uh, and uh, because i believe more in giving stats instead of just speaking something that doesn't make sense many of uh, you'll see the YouTube is filled with it. It's not much more of a data, just they're uh, saying the fees and everything that they're not able to actually give a brief analysis that, like what will happen if you complete a course from here, where are the settlement options, what are the future options, what is the ranking of the university, what kind of students they're studying in, uh, what is the environment, everything I cover. So if you like my content, you know what to do, how to support me and I'll keep bringing more videos to you. So peace.